manager. How great did that feel today? Yeah, it's a fantastic feeling. You can't beat you can't beat that feeling. Um, but it, you know what? It's an emotional feeling. It was a real special moment, um, a real poignant weekend at our football club, and. Um, you know that's been the inspiration for us all week. Is um, you know we knew it was going to be a special, special weekend, being remembrance, being an army town, and it was um, it was important that we showed the characteristics that um, you know people want to see, and especially on a day like today, you know we had to be willing to suffer and fight and scrap for everything we got, and um, that was a, a proper order shot performance when the chips are down and things are going against you, and you know we've had a lot, lot faced us this week. Um, I think that was, uh, you know, a really powerful performance today. Um, you know, like I said, against all odds, we stood up and we were counted. Exactly that. Let's talk about that. Obviously, there was a lot of it in the build-up with it being our remembrance game. You wanted a response on Tuesday, and it's fair to say you got that today. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, I'm so proud of the boys today because uh, the game, the way the game went as well, we, we, we I thought we caused some problems, got ahead, and got pegged back so quickly again, which has happened before here at Bromley. And, People could be forgiven for you know thinking oh here we go again, but the lads didn't. They stood up and were counted when they needed to be today, and uh, we had to show that fighting spirit today. We had to show that attitude and that mentality, um, but that's needs, that's first on our sheet. Um, and look, we, we're we're going to celebrate what we've done today um, and enjoy it. But uh, you know, as soon as tonight's over, then it's, it's back. It's back. Back to the hard work. The job never changes. Work hard uh, and get better. Um, but I, I, I was just so proud of the boys today. Let's talk about the starting lineup. Obviously, a number of changes made. A few youngsters included. Obviously, Alfie Saunders come back from Farmer. Tommy given the start as well. Alfie comes back in. A lot of changes, and it's fair to say they paid off today. Yeah, absolutely. I'm so delighted for Alfie Saunders. I mean, what a fantastic debut for him. Um, he's been doing some. He's been doing some good things down the road at Farnborough, um, so we, you know we had no hesitation in, in bringing him back in and putting him straight in. And uh, he epitomised the performance today for me: hard work, endeavour, and um, you know he caused a lot of problems as well with his um, you know his set plays and um, and his delivery. Um, but everyone to a man today was fantastic. But um, yeah, a special moment for for definitely for Alfie making his debut. Um, you know, a, a proud moment for him. I know how proud he was. I didn't tell him till he got here today because uh, I was worried he wouldn't have slept last night. So uh, I said, I'm going to call you back and, uh, you know, you might be involved tomorrow on the bench or whatnot. And um, we knew we were playing him. Um, so he just left him alone. And then obviously Woody come on as well. So again, great. Come on and won his header. He got his touch. So again, another fantastic moment for the, you know, what, what is the, the academy doing a great, you know, a great role in producing players again. So there's another one there. We had James Gorman on the bench as well. So um, yeah, a, good, a great day for the football club today. But again, um, all we've shown is what we've got to show going forward. And of course, Tommy Willard, his second goal for the club, got us off to a great start as well. So another positive for the academy and for us as the first team as well. Yeah, absolutely. Like I said, it's been an emotional day and uh, you know, I'm just trying to take in the game as well at the moment. And yeah, Tommy, again, another fantastic performance. And he deserved his goal and Alfie Whittingham as well. You know, my, my central midfield uh, really battled and worked hard today. Alfie Whittingham epitomised again um, what we need to see. Showed that in abundance in Mo Silla doing the, dirt, the more hardest dirtier side part of the game, they do, they've done it so well today but then also come up in the moments that we needed as well, so I'm, deli I'm delighted for them, um, but like, game's over now, it's, it's brilliant that we've managed to get that win at home, it was so, so, so important, um, but it's now what we do next. I talk about moments as well, Every, to a man everyone was brilliant, obviously attacking wise, got the goals and defensively, you know, we get that goal halfway through the second half and there's a moment for Grimsby right at the end with Laurie Walker and great defending at the end, it just shows how together we are in the team at the minute. Oh absolutely, I mean Laurie's pulled out a fantastic double save there and when you play teams of the quality of Grimsby, you need every member of your team, your goalkeeper right through to, to your subs, your team and your crowd behind you and uh, we used every bit of energy around this place today on the pitch and off the pitch and we needed it and it just shows that together how strong we can be and uh, I'm, I'm, I'm so pleased for everyone associated with the football club on what was a very poignant and emotional day for us um, being an army town and um, I think we showed, made everyone proud and showed the characteristics on a day like today that needed to be seen. Let's talk about the fans as well, obviously over 2,000 of them in, in the ground today and a great, great showing from everybody in Grimsby as well. Yeah and I said to the lads, I said that's that's what was all the shot is about, and that's what this place can be like. Uh, we have to give them something to respond to, which we did. And uh, you know, and the first thing is we got a fight. We certainly done that today, and um, yeah, it was everything. While well, I was desperate to come back um, and be at this football club, um, and yeah, like, 
I said they were they, they they were fantastic. They were fantastic, and it just and I said to the lads, that's everything that you know should be happening every week. Of course, a bit of a break now to our next game, but uh, an opportunity to reflect on today and really improve as we look to kick on now. Yeah, job never changes. Work hard, get better. That's uh, that's always 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 our motto. And um, we've got a little bit of a break now. We know we don't play till Tuesday week, so um, gives us a chance to get some bodies back. You know, we've got a chance that two or three might be able to be back in and around for that game. Um, but boy, did people take their chances today and, and show the fight and the hunger. Um, so look, it's, it's important we got that three points today, and um, you know we, did, we didn't want to get out of touch. We didn't want this home record to go on because it, start, it, it starts to be a psychological thing because um, the boys are so desperate to win. Sometimes that tension shows, but you know we've got to follow that up now. We can rest up, show Torquay the respect that we show every team. Um, hopefully, get a few bodies back, and um, you know we need to use this as a springboard now. Are you a movie shot? Look below for more information. Click here for the next video. Click here to subscribe.